Here we have a Zotac RTX 3090 video card that came in for repair. We already disassembled the card right here. And let's take a look at what the customer wrote. Today we worked on four 4090s video cards. And I also have this Zotac 3090 that we are working on. I have one more here. And I have one more here. A lot of video cards to be done today. All those cards, they have to be done today. Let's read what the customer wrote. RTX 3090 video card will not post. Blue LED lights up, but motherboard white light freezes, which means looking for a video card. Worked 4.0 before road trip. Bouncing around may not have been the best thing for it. So it looks like the video card was working before, but after the road trip, the card stopped working. Let's take a look at the card. Visual inspection, first thing first. Okay, so we have two 12 volt connectors. Let's measure for a short meter in diode mode. We're gonna measure for a short right here. And we do not have a short. We do not have a short. meter in ohms mode and we have 156k reading just a quick visual inspection I mean, if we do not have a short circuit on the 12 volt line, most likely our V core DR MOSFETs are all good. Look here, make sure we do not have a crack. And if we measure our 1.8 volt line, we should have something like 221, 223 ohm reading. 1.8 volt is reading 223 ohms. And what about our packs? We should have a six ohm reading on packs. A little bit higher or a bit lower is okay. We do not want to see one ohm or zero ohms. And right now I'm reading 6.5 ohms. Our GPU or our core is likely good. But who knows? Oh, what is this? What in the world is this? Is that normal? Yeah, it's factory. No work was done here. This is factory. It just looks on factory, but it's factory. Let's take the on factory and make it satisfactory. What do you think about that one? I knew I should have become a poet, but what can you do? Okay, so this side is good. Nothing obvious on this side of the board. I'm just looking for any missing components, any broken components, any ripped off components, any discolored or burned or blown. All the bees. Broken, blown. Can you think of another one that starts with the B? Butchered, butched. If it starts with the B, it cannot be good.
So the card was working fine before the road trip. I mean, is it a coincidence? Who knows? Oh, oh, whoa, oh, whoa, oh, what in the world is this? That looks like liquid metal and we have a cap. Look at this. Is that liquid metal? Yeah, I mean, it looks like it, right? That's liquid metal. What is liquid metal doing here? I mean, we do not have liquid metal anywhere on the board. I'm assuming. What is liquid metal doing on this one specific chip? Okay, so we're going to have to take a closer look at this area. Make sure all the components are solid. And let's continue with inspection and we'll come back to that one area. What is this? How did this trace get scratched? It's not a big deal, but I'm just wondering what happened. If a trace can get scratched like that, we have to make sure all the components are good. I mean, at least in this area. rest of the board looks good. Oh, except for the scratches that we see here. But that's not a big deal. They are all on the same layer. We do not see any cracks. But we do see the video card was abused. That's what we see. Okay, let's focus on this area right here. The magic of liquid metal look at what it can do. It can decorate your board like this. And when I say decorate your board, it means you can just hang it on the wall for looks and you cannot use it. That's what liquid metal does. I do not want to lose that cap, so let's solder that cap first. Maybe we can put it on the side here for the time being. I have a lot of similar boards, donor boards, so even if we lose that cap, it's not a problem. We can grab another cap. Nice. Very nice.
Okay, now since this cap does not look too good from one side, we're gonna replace it. I just grabbed another donor board right here. I got one right here. And we're gonna solder it right here. Very nice. Now we may still have liquid metal under the chip. So what we can do is we can ultrasonic the board. I do not know if liquid metal made its way under the chip. Or maybe liquid metal was just shorting out the capacitors. That may be possible. If we are lucky. And luck has been on my side all day today. Every device I worked on was a fix. What's up, man? How are you? Just give me one second. Just want to try to see if the card will work or not before I take the customer. Because like I always mention, who's more important? The card or the customer? Just a minute. Okay, so the cables are in. Everything is plugged in. And I did hear Possibly a posting B, but nothing on the screen. GPU is burning hot. We may have to have the heat sink on the GPU. Some GPUs, they require that we have the heat sink on because the core gets so hot so quick that it does not have time to post. You know what? Why not measure vCore quick? It's going to probably show up and then zero out. Let me put the meter in voltage mode. And we're going to measure at, you know, any one of those points. That's the view core inductor. Let's measure here quick. That's memory, actually. I'm reading 1.4. And if we go a bit down, I need to turn the power supply back off again. And then we're gonna turn the card on. And we have 0 0.76. And now it's zero. So it's going from 0 0.76 to zero. It could be a heat sink issue, but I don't know. I'm gonna ask Big Boss to reassemble the heat sink fan and we'll try again if the card still does not work, then we're going to have to ultrasonic the board. And we'll try again. I'll be back. All right, so we reassembled the card. I honestly have about 36% hope that that card is going to work. Not 35, 36.
We do have the blue light. Fans are spinning. Oh, right there, right there. It worked. Wow. Look at this. <laughs> wow. Let me grab a keyboard quick. Okay, the card is working. Amazing. The card worked. The card is working. I honestly was afraid that liquid metal may have went under the chip and shorted out, damaged the chip, but whew, right there, look at the top screen. The card is working. Amazing. We did it. The camera is still crooked, but the job is done. I'm going to hand the card over to Big Boss so he can finish the reassembly. He did not put all the screws, invoice, and mail it back to the customer. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think. Leave it down in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll do something else in the next video.